Welcome. It's the 2nd of March. We're going to do a little vloggy thing again today. Today I'm going to be doing a, a photo shoot. So I'm going to take you along on that. Yeah, I'm going to do a little, little, little bit of that and doing a little photo shoot. Then later on, I'm going to go see uh, Dune 2, which I'm excited about. I actually just saw Dune, the first part, recently <laughs> because... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll insert a, my, a little bit of me talking about that later when I get home. Anyway, uh, and then I'm gonna go out for dinner with some friends and I'm sorry, I look so tired. I just woke up. It's like, it's only 7 a.m. So it's not that early. I know it's, it's super early for some people. So I'm gonna shower now. I have to wash my hair and prepare it. I'm actually gonna be wearing a wig, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, so my makeup is done and now I'm gonna put on the wig. So the wig is a lace front wig, which I've never worn before. So that's gonna be a challenge to try and put on and then cut the lace. And so I'm actually gonna keep my natural hair like visible and I'll show you the wig in a second. So yes, this is the makeup. I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, so this is the finished look. How do you like it? I'm not actually gonna be wearing the hat, I'm just, gonna be getting into a lift and I don't want the the lift driver to be like what the fuck so I just wanted to make it look like I'm you know just just a normal day going wherever but uh yeah I'm I've got a, some time to kill I only have to leave maybe in about 45 minutes or so so yeah actually no that's not true probably in like 30 minutes or so and yeah I've got some time to kill but um yeah I'm kind of feeling it I'm feeling it I think it looks good yeah also, I'm really sorry about forgetting to turn my phone horizontal, landscape, whatever. So this vlog is going to be strange and that half of it is going to be portrait and the other is going to be landscape. So just going to have to live with that. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm just trying to find where the entrance is. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. This is, maybe I can just flip it around and show you like where I'm supposed to take pictures today. One second. This is the entrance like in the middle of nowhere like this scary place i think i might get murdered i'm on the wrong side of the building i can't i can't distinguish my left from my right awesome okay i think i'm here it's let's see it's it's called the royal elysium it's called the royal elysium let's go through the double doors i think they're they're practicing right now but maybe i'm supposed to go down with Long hallway or something? Yes. Two hours later. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 That's better if it's not the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're done. We finished. And it was so fun. Oh my god. I'm actually gonna like. So, this is the name of the studio. It's called Timeless Tree Studios. They do weddings and like other things. I'll flip it around in a second. This is the name of it. Really, really cool place. Nice place. So yeah, now I am going to call my Uber and get the fuck out of this industrial weird area. <laughs> is this my, this is my Uber? Is this my Uber? No, it's not. Yes, guy, I'm talking into a phone. Like I just feel insane standing here in full glam, talking to my phone. I'm on the phone, okay, guy? <laughs> hate vlogging. Okay, so I'm now I'm home and I think I'm just going to keep this wig on. I feel like it's just going to be a look for the rest of the day. Um, I'm home now and then I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'll... I'll just take the bus to go to the theater to go see Dune 2 to meet my friends. Uh, well, my friend and then his friends. I don't know his friends very well, so it's my friend and his friends. <laughs> and we're going to go see uh, Dune 2. I am on the hunt for the butthole popcorn bucket. It is the sandworm. You guys have probably seen it. I'll insert a picture right here. It's the the butthole. It looks. It's one of the sandworms but it looks like a butthole and I want one. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get one. Maybe I'll go to the uh, the theater a little bit early so that I can actually get one. I'm, I don't really eat popcorn, so 
I'm just gonna buy one and then like dump all the popcorn out or give it to somebody else. Uh, but <laughs> I'm not gonna dump it, I'm not gonna waste it. But yeah, I I definitely want the, bu the butthole popcorn bucket. We'll see if I can get it. Okay, I took the wig off. Um, it's starting to give me a headache, so I was like, okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need a headache. I need to be able to get through this day and be productive. So I took it off. I'm gonna put my shoes on and head to the theater. It's a fit check. I look very, I don't know. How do I look? Very 90s, I guess. Plaid shirt. Oh, I just move my Uggs out of the way. Superstars, Levi's, a linen shirt. I think I look cute, I think, right? just walked into a glass door. Smart. Now we're pulling up. I hope I'm at the right cinema because I think I think this is the one. I would be embarrassing if this isn't the right one, but I think this is it. Epic. Hazendale. And the other guy. No shade though. I mean, he's, he's, he's cool. He's cool. Timmy, you're cool. I'm just being I'm just being shady. I just I just love Calvin Blockwood so much. I'm sorry. They're sold out of the buttholes. I'm so sad. <laughs> Somebody was asking for me in line and I'm like, God damn it. The movie just literally just came out yesterday and they're fucking sold out already. I'm so mad. But anyway. I don't know what I would do with the butthole afterwards and literally am I gonna what am I literally what am I gonna do with it? So it's fine, I don't need it, but you know, just just for fun, <laughs> it would have been nice. Just for literally five minutes it would have been fun. So it's probably better that I didn't get it. Okay, so we just actually went out to Chipotle and got some food and we finished the movie. It was fucking awesome. I'm just heading home now and I'm gonna go lay down because I'm tired. Yeah, I just got back from watching Dune 2 and here are my thoughts. It was, it's funny because I only just recently saw Dune, the first Dune, because why? I don't know why it took me so long to watch it because first of all, A, I'm a huge Denis Villeneuve fan. I think he's fucking brilliant. Um, yeah, he's he's brilliant and I've been manifesting and I'm enlisting all of you guys to collectively manifest me working with him as an actress because he's incredible. I saw the 1984 or whenever it came out, I think it was 84 Dune, Lynch's Dune in I think 99 or 2000. A friend of mine lent me the VHSs. <laughs> <laughs> and I watched it back then. I had to watch it twice because I literally did not understand it at all. Like, I don't think I still don't understand it. I, I was like, I did not get any of that at all. Um, I got the gist of the story, but I will say that the this version was way easier for me to understand. This version was much more palatable, let's say, in, in the sense that it wasn't so esoteric. Like, wasn't Lynchian, let's say. <laughs> like, it was so, like, visually pleasing, like aurally um, pleasing, like everything about it was just like a delight. I absolutely adored it. It was fam like really, really good. Um, anyway, so I had just recently seen the first one. The continuation of both movies was just like incredible, like just really, really great. Um, some standout moments for me, and I won't obviously won't spoil it, but uh, like they pretty much have released some of like the major moments of um like snippets anyways during their press tour that they've been doing recently like the cast man like i can't stop talking about austin butler like he's amazing um he has a very small part in the movie 
in Lynch's version, that character is played by Sting of all people. But like the depravity of that character and the, like the menacing sociopathicness of that character is did not. I didn't get that at all from Sting's version. Uh, whereas like Austin Butler, just like I was texting a friend of mine, I'm like he reminded me a lot of Tom Hardy in Star Trek Nemesis. Like Shinzon, he played Shinzon in that. He played like Patrick Stewart. He somehow is related to Patrick Stewart. I can't remember the, the, the plot line of that, but like something to do with Patrick Stewart, Picard's character. Anyways, I'm totally being a total nerd here, but I kind of had that vibe. And I was, and I turned to my friend when we were watching the movie and I'm like, 16 year old me would be dying for Austin Butler right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> like dying for his character, not for the actor, but like for the character that he's playing right now. Like total psycho, <laughs> dressed like a goth, like I would be here for him. I'd be like, just oh, love him. And I just wish there was more of Florence Pugh. Like Florence Pugh, her screen time is like, so small but she's just such she's such a delight to watch she's so ugh, ugh, she's such a goddess like absolutely adore her talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular absolutely adore her i wish there was more of her and there obviously we will see more of her in the third installment but um yeah like i uh, yeah just wish just wish there was more of her She's just so amazing. Uh, but yeah, standout moments, definitely Austin Butler. I think he was amazing. Um, like I've literally never seen him in anything as an actor, but he was incredible and like really well cast alongside Stellan Skarsgård, who is terrifying and pretty much everything that I've seen him in, he is terrifying. Uh, the first thing I saw him in was Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. So, um, and everything from that point on, I'm like, you are scary. <laughs> like I, mm, like that whole family is just, Mm, they're scary and timothy chalamet is growing on me like I've, I've said many many times and i'm like i don't know about him as an actor but he's definitely growing on me like the first one i was kind of like mm, sure take it believe it but like second one i'm like okay yeah yeah he was really he was really good like he did a really great job and i'm like okay great job timmy Ch chimmy timmy um and then i also speaking of patrick stewart didn't I, I completely forgot or like it slipped my mind that gurney was played by patrick stewart in the lynch version and i remember just like not being like mm, it's a little something about it was just not didn't sit with me right but then i think what i like about villeneuve's version is that it's just more grounded in reality like it just feels like something that could be happening today whereas like lynch's dune is on another plane of fucking existence right and so it was very highfalutin and very like played here whereas villeneuve's dune is very grounded and and almost feels like it could be reality and that's why i enjoy brolin's uh gurney better than like patrick stewart's very like theatrical and like big that's just my personal opinion but and if somebody in my discord actually was saying the same thing and i'm like now i see what he's talking about because i was like oh yeah like i just like going back and and thinking about it a little bit more and i completely forgot that it was patrick stewart actually i was like oh my god yeah it is patrick stewart shit and i love patrick stewart but it, like it's just different right but anyway so that was that's those are my thoughts uh if you haven't seen it yet i highly recommend that you do first of all you've been seen the first one go see the first one and it don't be scared by the runtime uh i was like really afraid that i wasn't going to be okay with seeing a three hour movie almost three hours it's two hours 45 um me me say like lord of the rings is literally the my favorite trilogy of all time uh actually favorite movie of all time i had no problem watching all three extended editions in one sitting um pretty much with no breaks in a theater i did that i did not have any problem i was hooked the way that Denis and villeneuve has crafted the story in terms of pacing and and whatever was was just to me and again biased but because he's he's one of my favorite directors, like top three favorite directors, Yorgos Lanthimos being the other one. Um, and I can't, hmm, I don't know who my third one is actually. They're my top, like there is top three, those two, like Villeneuve and Lanthimos are up there. And I will say also about the music, I mean, Hans Zimmer is, he's a legend for a reason. And it, uh, another guy, a guy in my Discord was saying too, uh, when you watch the first one, make sure that you watch it with headphones because the sound, like the mixing 
of the sound and like that it's almost like it's an assault like you're being assaulted when you're watching when you're listening to it and it's just so good and that's exactly what i did and i'm like wow you were not kidding like the sound is is really really well done and the same thing i actually saw this in imax so 70 millimeter it also the sound was was excellent in the second one as well so i'm really looking forward to the third one i think it's gonna be really good and yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do now for the rest of the evening i might I have a little bit of a headache from wearing the 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 wig um it was, it was like the wig cap was really tight so i think i might take my makeup off and like do a, like a ice roller or something to kind of like calm my head a little bit i don't know i don't have any medication uh which is scary like i don't have any like migraine medication so oh, it's not gonna be good but um maybe i'll just like ice roll or something and just like relax i have oppenheimer is another film that i've rented on youtube and i haven't watched it yet so uh i don't know if i can sit through another three hour movie <laughs> but maybe i'll save that for tomorrow um another thing that's coming up that i haven't i, I don't know if i'm i can't vlog it obviously but i'm going to see the hobbits so billy boyd and dominic Mon monahan are in a play together and they're doing rosencrantz and gildenstern are dead i've actually i have the play i meet i'm been meaning to read it before the play uh is i'm going to see them on tuesday um on march 5th so excited because i i just just to get a glimpse of the of two of the hobbits and i know that they're gonna kill it I, you guys know maybe you don't know but i am the well all of these are all lord of the rings uh action figures and three of them are well i think that's mary and pippin up there but anyway doesn't matter <laughs> i'm a massive lord of the rings fan so when i saw that they were coming to toronto i'm like done <laughs> going to see them front row i'm gonna be like yeah mary and pippin woo like bruh bruh anyway so yeah i'm gonna uh take off my makeup and i will see you in a bit before i go to bed bye okay i'm in bed now it's like 10 o'clock but i'm not sleeping like i'm not gonna go sleep i just want to watch this is a, like a new video about Ghislaine maxwell <laughs> that I want to watch even though I literally watch like five documentaries about her um so I think I'm going to do that um what, what should I spend the last like 10 minutes doing I don't even, like the last hour doing I don't know I just lost time <laughs> I literally lost time I don't know what I did I wanted to do some work I wanted to like m work on music and stuff and that didn't happen and I'm like okay now it's 10 o'clock and now I have to go to bed <laughs> so anyway oops sorry um yeah so today was good we got a lot a lot done i felt like i did get a lot done so that's good but i'm tired now so what am i doing tomorrow pretty much everything that i was supposed to do today i'm going to do tomorrow which is like edit some videos i'm going to edit this video and edit some, a bunch of other things for my patreon so don't forget to like and subscribe you should like and subscribe because I would like to get this channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please like, subscribe, and share this video and share other videos that I have here on this channel. I would like to get to 10,000 subscribers. That would be nice. So uh, yeah, that would be doing me a salad. And yeah, so I'm going to be working on some uh, other like uh, editing and Patreon stuff tomorrow, which I didn't get a chance to do today so and i only don't have a lot of time on the weekends to do shit and then it's it's the work week so anyways i'm talking a lot what is that is that a oh my god if that was a spider i'm gonna go to bed now please like subscribe and share thanks bye <laughs>